Today I have a knitting effect Photoshop tutorial for you. I thought we'd get a head start on the holidays with the ugly Christmas sweaters and set up a Photoshop template for it. Before we get started, I want to show you the download that we're going to be using for this. So if you go over to transparenttextures.com and you type in, I just typed in sweater and this came up. So it's called knitted sweater. This is the pattern that we're going to be using today. So I'll leave a link down in the description for that. I'm also using, this is from Creative Market. Um, it's called Magical Time Collection. So it's just a collection of unicorns. So I'm going to start off by creating the first pattern. I'm going to come up here to file, open. So I downloaded it and I saved it here to this file. Wherever you download it, just go ahead and go there. Open up this one called Knitted Sweater PNG. And that's going to open up that pattern that I just showed you from Transparent Textures. Go ahead and click open. And it's going to open up looking like this. So you're not going to be able to see anything. It's there. It's really difficult to see. It's just a very subtle light texture. But we're going to turn it into a pattern. So I'm going to come up here to edit, define pattern. I'm just going to leave it as knitted sweater PNG and click OK. So that's our first pattern. So I don't need this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I don't have to save it. Now I'm going to open up a new document. So I'm going to come here to file new and I'm going to make this pretty big. I'm going with 6,000 by 6,000. 300 resolution because I'm thinking this is more for Christmas cards or something like that. So I'll just go uh, with the higher resolution RGB 8 bit and everything else can say the same. So inside the new document, I'm just going to come here to the layer adjustments. I'm going to choose pattern with the drop down choose the pattern that we just created. Make sure to scale this up. We're going to scale it to 300% and click OK. So it's going to be a pretty big pattern and it might get a little fuzzy because we're scaling it up 300%, but that's OK because we do want that fuzzy fiber look. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose convert to smart object. The reason I turned it into a smart object is so that I could change the adjustment if I needed to later on. But I'm going to come up here to image adjustments and I'm going to choose levels that you can do command L or control L on a PC as well. That'll get you this box. And I'm just going to take the black slider right here and take it all the way over here to 200. You can also just type it right here if you want. And I'm just bringing that down. So I'm going to have this grayish color now. From here, I'm going to press command and the letter J. That's going to give me a duplicate of this. I'm going to come here to the bottom one and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to this. I'm going to come here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to choose 1.5 pixels for this and click OK. Command and the letter J again to duplicate. I'm going to come to the bottom layer here and I'm just going to double click on that Gaussian blur and change that to three pixels. So I'm just trying to blur this out a little bit to give it a little bit of dimension. We're also going to use it as a displacement map a little bit later. Right now I have three copies of this pattern fill. The very first one just has a levels adjustment. The second has a Gaussian blur at 1.5 and then another one at three pixels. And I'm going to come here to edit, define pattern, and I'll just call this knit. Okay, so now that I've saved this as a pattern inside of Photoshop, I'm going to save it again, this time as a displacement. So it's just a PSD file that I'm going to bring in later on. I'm here to file, save, and I'm going to save it to my computer and I'm just going to call it, I had one saved here already, so I'll just call it knitted displacement and hit save. We have this file saved as knitted displacement. I'm going to go ahead and close it out because we don't need it anymore. And from here, I'm just going to start building this template. So we're going to come here to file new and I'm going to make this one 2000 pixels wide by 2800 pixels high. I'll leave the resolution at 300 RGB 8 bit. So this is the size that I've created. I This is more or less the dimensions of a Christmas card or something like that. So I'm cutting in here after I've already created this video just to let you know that the best way to create the smart object for the template is not to turn the image into a smart object but rather to make a new layer and then add the image to that layer. It's just going to help you out with getting other images to fit properly into the smart object. I'm still here in the same document 2000 by 2800 and I'm going to press the little plus icon to add a blank layer. I'm going to right click and convert this to a smart object rather than dragging in the layer 
and doing it that way. So I'm just gonna double click here. Now I'm inside of the smart object and I can come in with my design and make adjustments after the fact. First one I'm gonna work with is this right here. It's the little unicorn. And I'm just gonna drag it out, maybe bring it in here a little bit on the edges. Let's add these filters. I'm gonna come up here to filter, distort, and displace. We're gonna add that displacement map in that we just created earlier. So our horizontal scale is 10, vertical scale 10, stretch to fit, wrap around, and make sure embed file data is selected and click OK. And I'm gonna choose my displacement that I just created. Click OK, and that's coming in. So you can see what it's done. It's just kind of made these edges here a little more jagged. And that's what we want. So we're gonna come back in to filter this time to pixelate and mosaic. For this one, I'm gonna leave my cell size at six. I'm gonna click OK. And now we just have this kind of pixelated graphic here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is come here to the layer adjustments and I'm gonna choose pattern. Go to the drop down and I'm gonna choose the very first pattern that we created from transparent textures. So go ahead and click on that one and we're gonna scale this 50%. Make sure that you clip this into the graphic layer. This right here, I'm gonna just right click and choose create clipping mask. So that's gonna clip that layer into this design layer. Now I'm gonna just click on the background and go back in here to the adjustment layers, choose pattern again. This time we're gonna choose that second pattern that we created, the gray one. And I'm gonna take that down to 50% as well. All right, now I'm gonna come back here to the design and I'm just gonna change this like to color burn or I'll go with overlay for this one. Um, this is all gonna depend on the colors in your design, if it's a dark or light design. Usually I'm using overlay or color burn or linear burn. If you want to learn more Photoshop effects, click the link up on the screen right now and I'll meet you in the next video.